Hi fans of high quality entertainment. It's time to rate, rank, and review the Beatles, Penny Kane. It's a joke from my community page. <clears throat> Penny Lane. Paul McCartney, vocals, piano, bass guitar, harmonium, and hand claps. John Lennon, backing vocals, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, piano, and hand claps. So talented, playing all of those at the same time and clapping. George Harrison backing vocals, guitar, congas with a question mark so they're not sure, and hand claps. Ringo Starr, drums, tubular bells, maybe he's playing the, the album Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield, and tambourine. And then a lot of uh, different people playing flutes, uh, Piccolos? I don't know some of these words, okay? I can't pronounce everything. Piccolas? P Piccolos? Uh, trumpets? Flugelhorn? Oboes? Choranglis? And a double bass. Penny Lane was released in February 1967 as a double A-side with Strawberry Fields Forever and what has been described as the greatest single of all time along with Hey Jude and Revolution, I think. The single found the Beatles at their artistic and creative peak, and Penny Lane, as much as any of their songs released in 1967, summed up the technicolor world that burst forth from the mon monochrome early 1960s and the positive spirit that anything was possible. And Paul says, it's just fact, part nostalgia for a great place. Blue suburban skies as we remember it, and it's still there. And we put in a joke or two. Four of fish and finger pie. The women would never dare say that, except to themselves. Most people wouldn't hear it, but finger pie is just a nice little joke for the Liverpool lads who like a bit of smut. We should start up a rock band called The Finger Pies. That's kind of crude. I apologize. So, so once again, uh, uh, one thing I am enjoying about doing this whole series is revisiting songs that I love and then realizing, you know what, I don't love this song as much as I used to or I love this song more than I thought I did. And so, for instance, Penny Lane, I thought, would be possibly in the top 50, uh, in the higher rankings, like in the top half of, of the rankings. But listening to it with fresh ears and just taking it all in, uh, the, the one thing I was wanting to say about this song is, if you had to say, you know, maybe I, I could do this sometime, top 10 Beatlesque songs. And in other words, that, that's the Beatles right there. You can, you know, the whole vibe of the band is in this song. For instance, you can't really say that about day, A Day in the Life. It's like that, you know, even though it's my favorite Beatles song, it's not a Beatlesque song. It's, maybe this doesn't make any sense. But Penny Lane, that's the Beatles. Back in 1967, you know, when Strawberry Fields and Penny Lane came out, of course, some people would, even Beatles fans would, would maybe not like Strawberry Fields Forever right away or, or hate it. But Penny Lane, it's like, oh, that's the Beatles, you know, on the radio. That, and uh, just a great vibe in that song uh, of the Beatles and, and with the video. And so I absolutely love the song. And it goes high in my rankings, a 10 out of 10. And. It goes in between In My Life and She Said, She Said at number six. Not that it, I don't think it'll be in the top ten by, by the time I'm done this, but it's gone higher up in the rankings. I'm really, uh, really loving the song. So I would love your thoughts on Penny Kane. Thank you. In the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.